What is up guys, my name is Ganso and welcome to a brand new tutorial. I'm sorry I haven't posted for about a month now, but I had some personal problems and schoolwork and so on. Today I am going to somehow show you how to get that 808, that distorted, overly distorted 808 that XXXTentacion uses in some of his songs. It's not that hard to do, however you kind of need the good 808 sample to achieve that 808, that filthy 808 that X has. So first of all I made a small beat just so I have an introduction and the sample itself. Even if the pitch doesn't match the sample or the sample doesn't match the 808, that's kind of the way he does it. But as I stated before, you still need that good 808 bass to get the same result as his songs. I'm gonna walk you through every single thing I did here. Let's start with the sample, that doesn't matter so much in this tutorial, but however, this is the sample I use. <laughs> Bless me. So, as you heard, it's the sample that he used in Look At Me. Hey. Then I added a crash and a random hi-hat pattern. And now we have the start of the beat. <laughs> I really don't like the hi-hats here, but it sounds really off without them, so I'm just gonna keep them here. But now comes the actual fun part, which is the 808, and it will sound like this. <laughs> added that pause that he uses sometimes but yeah let's get into the business we have our normal 808 make sure you get one that just goes on this is how the 808 sounds without any effects on it the key I've used is B3 and lower so first of all I added a compressor and set the gain to 10 decibels and it will sound like this. As you can hear it's too bassy. Now I will add a maximus and will set the low pre knob a bit lower than normal, then the mid one a bit higher and the high to about minus 9.5 or minus 10. And it will sound like this. As you can hear, it's not that bassy anymore. And now it has that mid frequency bass. Now I will add a fruity fast distort and move the threshold a bit more to the right of the middle part. And the pre keep it to the middle. And it will sound like this. Now it has an equal amount of bass and distortion. And I will add a tricky EQ. I moved the, the one knob a bit to the bass side towards the low mid side. The second one I moved it in the middle of the mid frequency and a bit higher. The fourth knob has no modifications. Then the fifth one it's a bit lower still in the mid range. I raised the sixth knob a bit higher and the seven a bit lower. And it should sound like this. For the kick, I just added a distort and played with it. Nothing interesting, really. For the snares, I stacked two snares. As you can hear, it's better when they are stacked. And I've added a simple sidechain on one of the 
layers of the mixer. And now we have sidechained the sample and the 808 to the kick and it will sound like this. And now for the pause of the song, which is this one. It's really easy to make it, all you have to do is go to the master track, right click on the volume knob, create automation clip, right click on where you want the audio to stop, add another one, add another knob, right click again to add it where you want it to start again, and now we have the pause that we wanted. <laughs> However, keep in mind, if you want to rap over it, like X does, when you are going to rap over this part, your audio will be muted as well, because this is muting the whole master track. You can do exactly the same thing, you'll just have to either link all these tracks to, to a single one, then change the volume, or just do it manually for every single track. It's not a hard thing to do either way, it just takes a bit of time. But that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and you somehow managed to understand what I said because of my shit accent. I want to thank each and every one of you who subscribed and thank you for 100 subscribers. And yeah, I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.